big bill stack We'll fix your techie woes and we'll break things up We'll make these till we're all together raking And we'll raise a cup of grog down in the big bill stack in, in the big bill stack Come and join our fire crew in, in the, the big bill stack We will show you what to do And we'll hack it till we crack it And we'll tell the world about it And forget to tidy up That's why it's now a bill stack Hello and welcome to Bill Shank 064. I am joined by Emma. A new face on the Bilch Tank. Hello. Ooh, new Hello. characters. And boring familiar Sandy. Yeah. Sorry about that. Today we're we're looking at what are we looking at? We're looking at the, the, the shiny Nintendo, which is right there at the front. Super duper duper shiny. 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 We've got robots, we've got guitar pedals and an entire Sense. instrument yep. set up and synth in the corner here, which you've pulled out of thin air. Uh, <laughs> flotilla lighty things and Video snacks. Products and snacks from Andy yep. Queen. Thank I'm you very much. Um, in fact, we're going to open these right now. Mini robots. I right want those snacks. I don't want those. You snacks. don't want these? No. Oh, okay. We'll do these first. Yeah, we'll look about them. As the uh, super spatial. Special. Those are. <laughs> are you implying that those look a little bit phallic, Sandy? No, I was thinking more like. Um, smiles? Happy, happy smiles? Um, you could probably work out. Oh wow! It's just an explosion of fizzling dust here. So oh, these are from pretty good. Antiquity. Yes. Like Thank you. We Andy. sent them in. Thank you. Oh, look at those. Yeah, delicious. Oh, wow. I definitely. <laughs> oh, oh mustaches. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Oh, Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm gonna I'm gonna try one of these first. These are huge. Like this box is heavy. Wow, it's soft. Wow. I didn't expect it to be soft, I expected it to be more biscuity. Pretty it's sure like, that's like, not, it's not real banana. <laughs> no, it's, it's like some kind of mallow foam stuff. I don't know if you can see that. It tastes really good though, actually. Do they taste banana-y? Or is that yeah, that fake banana flavour you get medicine in? Yeah, right? but it tastes really it? good. It says they've got... Um, it is that, that fake banana flavour, isn't it? Cocoa mass. Everything's got cocoa mass. Cocoa mass. mass. Well, my um, biscuits are presumably all cocoa has mass. <laughs> but, uh, cocoa butter, banana pulp, and sugar. They're actually pretty Wait, they're that tasty, aren't they? Actual banana. Yeah, it's got banana pulp in it. Mm. Yeah. Incredible. So these these might actually be dairy free. They're good alike. Like mm. We're just gonna spend half an hour eating these. Soya soya lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> in it and, and Weizenstark, but I don't know what Weizenstark is. I'm not going to spend half an hour eating them. They look like. You sure you don't they want look one? Like Do you not like bananas? No, no. <laughs> the devil's tash. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we talk about Flotilla? Yeah. That's think. why I'm here. That's what so dragged me here. Emma is our new head of marketing. Um, so Emma's job is to make. Um, to make people think we're even more awesome than we actually are. Or just let people know, <laughs> generally. Not like normal marketing where they you, you go to companies and promise the world on a stick with a hat. And then the developers go, oh, we don't know how to know that. We've already delivered the world on a stick. Yeah, that's what I used hat. to do. Um, and now I'm doing uh, shiny bright lights on sticks. Yay! So um, we have some new flotilla kits on the shop today. Shiny, 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 shiny. So we've got the mini kit, mini starter kit, and the medium, medium. kit. So with the mini kit, you can make yourself a lovely little mood light. I have no idea. Yeah, I can't see if this. anyone can see this because the camera is just slightly Ooh. in the way of our preview screen. So it's all the bits and bobs, the plastic and the paper craft required. Can we go to close up? If you can. Oh no! Oh, why am I <laughs> that one. Press the one that looks like a dead spider. Awesome. <laughs> so. Paul's custom um, labels. In the kit, you get the flotilla dock, the light stick, and also the touch module. And the touch module with this project lets you control the lights. So the. First button is the on off, the second button is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have enough hands I don't have enough to hands. also press the buttons. Right, right. okay, then. There's the mid light, there's the dock, here does the touch module, so this should. Number one should switch Stay it off. off. Yeah. Okay. Back on. And then oh. number two puts <laughs> it into oh. 
It doesn't like Auto you. mode. Number two should cycle through different colours. Mm -hmm. Come on. I'm not Come cycling on. It's very yeah. gentle. You it doesn't go harder. very fast. Mm, live test. Yeah, live demos. No, I don't like just, live demos. Don't ever do them. Because all the code is being run on a laptop somewhere else in the building, yeah. I think. And our Wi-Fi is being mm -hmm. yeah. little annoying. And then um, the three and four buttons are set to increase or decrease the human saturation. Mm -hmm. um, so that you can make the light more suit your mood. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just a really lovely project. And that's on the store at the moment for £24, which I believe represents excellent value. Yeah. Just in time for Christmas. Yeah, well. perfect Amazing. for Christmas. Yeah. Um, it's, it's actually really good. We figured out um, you're saving over £7 if, on if you were buying all the modules separately. So that's really awesome. Okay. And then the medium kit comes with two extra modules. It comes with the barometer, which is... Um, Sandy is just bringing that over there. Yeah, and also so the light sensor. So yeah, so well that's the weather module above yeah. it. Yeah, yeah so it's temp that. temperature and pressure. pressure. Yeah. Um, and the light sensor. What's so with that, you can make a little weather station. Um, and that kit is currently selling at £39. So for 40 quid more or less, you are yeah, getting two, two, really two really cool two really projects. Two really cool projects. Um, so we're hopeful that they are going to be awesome for Christmas presents. Probably worth mentioning that we are Lovely boxes working well. like crazy on the software again. Yeah. So I, I kind of came in and made Phil really <laughs> so sad um, <laughs> okay. and Carry suggested on. a few um, amends on the software. Um, we're also working on the user experience from end to end, so the website is going to get sorted quick smart too. Mm. Yay! Really excited about yeah. that. Awesome. Right, Next! <laughs> right, let's dump all the photos off. I've been complaining behind the scenes. That, you have to um, un unbury your contraptions now. You hold that on this all to that takes film. too long, so I'm like, come on, chop it I'm useful! Right. These Watch are also really them. delicious. They're gorgeous. Yeah. Right, let's They're like Christmas. Two or three I'll stop more. talking and I'll eat. <laughs> <laughs> right, so... Why am I holding this? All of this gubbins that um, actually stick it to that bit of blue tack, Phil. It'll keep hold of it. Thank you, a bit of blue tack is more useful than me. Yeah. Um, all of this gubbins is basically to demonstrate um, a, a theremin. If you don't know what a theremin is, it is... If you've ever seen Bill Bailey... Um, the comedian who does lots of musical stuff on stage um, he uses a thing called a theremin which is basically a um, it's how, like how an, invisi it's it? an invisible mm -hmm. harp have yeah, you seen the yeah. video of the cat playing the theremin? I yeah. think that will explain everything. I'd also recommend you google Badgermin where mm. somebody's inserted a theremin into a taxidermic badger it's the, um, awesome the Doctor Who theme <laughs> tune, that's done with a theremin. They woo. Mm -hmm. um, it's, ba it's basically a pointy antenna that uses the the signal induced by your hands. Yeah. Along it's got, the antenna it's got to, two, two to antennas. Adjust pitch, isn't it? One of which is pitch and the other one is volume. And by moving your hands in different combinations, you can control the, the volume and the pitch to, to yeah, original Do you want alternative um, instruments. Now I've uh, figured nope. out the <laughs> not, not quite yet. I'll still um, So I've got um, so we've got a skywriter here. Um, so the as well as the skywriter hat that we have that's designed for the Raspberry Pi and fits on top of your Raspberry Pi and is is hat sized, we have a larger skywriter, um, which has a greater range on it. It's so much better um, as well as as well as being bigger in the X and Y dimensions. It has a bigger um, Z axis, I guess it is. Um, yeah. So your your hat, you can wave your hand f further above it, and it's and much easier to get granul granularity on the X and Y as yep. well because it's just that much bigger. Yep. It's a bit like the big trackpads on the new MacBook Pro. Yep. <laughs> um, and I've also got an Arduino. Um, sorry, an Adafruit Metro, um, which is basically just a, the same as an Arduino Uno, um, to all intents and purposes. Um, I believe it's an app Mega 328 that's on it. I think so. Um, Judging, but, or it could be a... Well, maybe there's a 328. Yeah. You can see the serial chip on there. Yeah, it's a 328. It is a 328. Um, 
So I've got that hooked up to my MacBook um, with a... Um, do you have a dongle? I do, yeah, I've got a dongle, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of topical, isn't it? Are you, are you somewhat irritated that they're now reduced in price? Absolutely furious, yeah. Just, yeah. After you paid the massive, ridiculous Seething with apple rage. Prices. Seething, just outraged. Yeah. No, I don't really see what all the fuss is about, to be honest. Um, cause Maybe we've got bigger things to worry about. <laughs> yeah, bigger things yeah. to worry about than a couple of dongles. Eventually, everything, everything's going to move to USB-C anyway, so it's going to be irrelevant and... Yeah, I was like to point time. out that you can't get a USB 3 to USB C adapter, so. Mm. Have to worry um, about it. So I've got a Spark, Spark Fun Cerberus cable. Um, the Cerberus is amazing, um, and you should definitely buy one if you don't already have one. Um, it, on one end, it's got USB A, on the other end, it has an array of different uh, USB connectors, including. Uh, USB mini, micro USB, and USB A. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Um, USB B on that end and A on the other end. It is um, the utility belt so USB cable. The the A is connected to this um, audio interface, um, which is connected to the MacBook, and then the micro B connector is connected to the the Adafruit Metro Arduino. And that's sending serial data to my MacBook. Oh, this connection with just one port. Um, I've got simple, simple bit of Arduino code which is um, basically translating the coordinates from the Skywriter into notes and MIDI, velo MIDI ve velocities. <laughs> um, and you've got a MIDI to serial bridge application running on here as well. Yes, there's a there's a really good. Um, cross-platform app called Hairless MIDI. I don't know why it's called Hairless, <laughs> but um, <laughs> um, essentially it takes serial data from something like an, Ar an Arduino and translates it into MIDI. Um, so in my Arduino code, I'm, I'm using the Arduino MIDI library and the Skywriter library that we've got for Arduino. Um, and hopefully... Is it going to work? It was um, working before, I heard it. The other kind of important thing I've got is oh, a yeah. Korg Volca Keys synth. Um, Fun time! Which. Can we do a duet? Sounds really good, so you can get it really. Now it's time for my synth band, now! <laughs> so, so much bass. Mm. Yeah, nice. Do you want me to go into. Um, so that's just close up mode, or are you going to see if it's this? Um, AC. Here we go. It's, it's probably going to. Um, I should say that <laughs> it sounds somewhat uh, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so is that controlling the core? That's just the nature of a theremin, really. Um, <laughs> Don't play with the theremin. <laughs> Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, maybe change the dub, dial up the pitch a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good show. Good show. <laughs> if we, uh, oh, this is an awesome demo, isn't it? Yeah. This is great. You're just listening to this. I don't know why I simulated it. Slow, low trumping sound. <laughs> Sounds like welding, apparently. <laughs> Could be someone around here, isn't it? Can't. Oh, there we go, that's slightly... <laughs> <laughs> you're, not, you're not getting any better. Help! <laughs> um, right, let's uh, switch to um, plan B. Um, there's a plan B? Yeah, totally, yeah. All the time. Okay. <sighs> Broke it. I'm slightly disappointed you haven't injured yourself yet. Oh, that's better. There we go. So this is actually just on my Mac right now. Can um, I still play this? I can. Well, actually, I'll, I'll just plug in the, the monitor that I've got. Because <laughs> it'll sound a lot better through Wait, that. there's a 3.5mm jack on there? Oh, God. Outrageous. No, it's dead. That's weird. Hmm. 
Maybe it's just the monitor that's messed up somehow. It's weird. Shall I just pretend? Shall I make synth noises? It sounded good when it was coming from my... Um... <laughs> right. I've told you about that choir I was in. all the metal that's around, I think that's what the... You can, and you can also, in the, in the code, um, you can control the range of notes. Um, so at the moment I've got it going from the full range, which is um, 0 to 128. Um, I've dubbed that. <laughs> um, Take that, Skrillex. Yeah, I've got it going from 0 to 128, but you can narrow that range to, to kind of, you know, something like an octave or whatever you Presumably want. You, so can, more like you can step it and, and clamp it to different scales and chords yeah, and stuff yeah, as well to, yeah, yeah. to allow um, any incompetent hand-waving to sound yeah. like music. But the, So I've got a tutorial for this as well that will be going up probably tomorrow on the learning portal. Um, the principle is um, how to generate MIDI from the sky... <laughs> I'll just mute that um, <coughs> from the Skywriter um, and you could also use it as something like a control surface um, to you know, to act like a mod wheel um, Yeah, this is something I've been meaning to set up for ages just to get that X, Y, Z control yeah. kind of set up to because they have um, changed the, the, the Korg, Korg Key Oscillator I think it is yeah, um, which is basically like a touchpad um, effects processor um, and you can do exactly the same thing with the Skywriter, actually. Um, so, and it, it's like the Chaos Elator costs over 100 quid. Um, so it's a much more cost effective way of setting something up like that. Um, cool. So, yeah, so that's, that's that. Next! Next. Can, we do, can we do the Nintendo? <coughs> can we do Nintendo? Yeah, let's do that. I've not seen this. They've kept this away from me. And I'm. Oh. I know that we're getting one at home. I'm slightly yeah. excited. But she got the HDMI cable and power supply that somebody has cleverly set up. So these cost um, 50 quid. So cute. From Nintendo. That's a pretty good um, Christmas gift, that They really. seem to be unavailable at the moment. I had to look on the website and they're not available. Um, I'm going to have to guess that they just sold out about 11,000 times over when they launched them because they, they do have a bit of squee factor about them. Um, so we're going to do an unboxing. Here we go. So you've, the the box is really nice. It's got that kind of retro games console feel to it with the way the the artwork's done and the kind of slightly. It, it does look like a lot of the twenty in one systems there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Thirty games in one. Open the box we less, faster. If I didn't come know on. that that was an official Nintendo product, <laughs> I would I would be sceptical and think it was maybe some third party knockoff. Get a voucher for some kind of rewards thing. I don't know. Useless Nintendo points that sit in your Nintendo points account. Uh, you get start. an instruction manual. Uh, let's throw that away. <laughs> um, uh, oh, oh god, little, that's so cute. Oh, Jesus. Da, da, da. Oh, look at the little thing. It's like we're all giants, oh. isn't it? You can pretend to be giants like with a, a normal sized. Um, you should yes. have got a normal size in the Nintendo for comparison. Here we go. It feels really light as well. It is. It's weird. It feels it's just like... It just is an empty plastic shell, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, there's nothing in there. <laughs> oh, that's so gorgeous. We should have had a tear down. We should have maybe tear it down. No. Except to get to the screws, you have to Last peel off the rubber feet and they'll never stick back on again. Look, open the cartridge. Oh, you can't. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah, you can. That's a missed uh, opportunity. Yeah, it's, it's basically preloaded games. Where am I games my jam no, no facility for sideloading games until someone presumably hacks it. Um, Apparently an ARM Linux device inside of an ARM CPU yeah. and Android Linux. So it's got HDMI on the back. It has micro USB for the power. Um, it's got a power switch and it's got a reset button. <laughs> Don't know Fine. what that's for. Um, it's got two controller ports, um, which appear to be the same connector as the Wii 
Um, uh, it's the nunchuck, nunchuck or the classic controllers that you've connected to the Wiimote. Yeah. But you can, I'm told, use that controller with a Wiimote to play classic oh. games on the Wii oh, as look, well. Oh, look, that's so cute. It's got a proper old-school mm. NES controller. It makes me wonder, though, if you can use a classic games controller from the Wii with this. Why? Why would you, though? So I would guess. To oh, do classic do controllers are really nice. I've yeah, got, I've got a bunch of retro games. Because they're like a hybrid between the SNES controller and one with dual analog, which is nice. Right. This one's so ridiculously square. <laughs> square it is. So boxy it hurts. Um, it's also got a USB cable and an So HD. it's actually powered by micro USB. They don't give you a wall adapter. No. Oh, interesting. So just these days you can power it from your TV, pretty much. Or your mobile you? phone yeah, charger. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Quite easy. Everyone's got micro USB or using a standard. Nice. Right. So that's um. So uh, uh, here's the micro USB we got earlier. We've got the. Oh, you've yeah, you've got that one, of course. And we've got the the picture, so we might actually be able to get yeah. that out. Were you planning this all along? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I I can I can plug in cable part part <laughs> cable. I'm clever. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> not clever. Maybe not. Uh, here it goes. Right. Let's hit the power. Oh. So uh, which of the buttons? <laughs> on here we may possibly see one of these black screens turn into something. Not the hope. Or not. It should be the one that says spear cam. Spare cam. Here's where we go rooting behind the computer to see if this cable's actually plugged in. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I did plug it in. Oh yeah, um, I can see it. Is where oh. weaving away. This is where I need to learn some jokes so I can. <laughs> oh God, they've left me on Why my own. Why did you the road? Ah. Oh. They're you wanna, meeting me. Do this you want to talk more about flotilla and about our plans for it? So um, we're gonna we're, we're gonna take the world with it. Maybe. You see anything yet? So we're gonna revamp no. the website so it has um, the learning content on it, um, the cookbook and lots of other tutorials for Python and various kind of getting started guides. Yeah, and um, going a lot more project focused, so yeah. um, entirely pushing what you can do with it. Um, oh, that made an upsetting noise. I didn't just upset this external hard drive now. <laughs> oh no, look, I see mushrooms. I see yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, it's working. Which button? Yeah, I think one of the ports that on one. the back is, that one. is kaput. Yeah. Yay. Oh, look at that. <coughs> Let's um, just do that. Oh, uh, no, go back to the mushrooms. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so Hi, we've Mario. Got, um, Super Mario. <coughs> let's actually do the, let's do the, how do we do the... Oh, I'm going to get, <laughs> I'm going to get game rage <coughs> if you don't let me play soon. Ah, uh, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> You're a fool. Oh, there we go. That's, that's, that's it. That's nice um, yeah, so apparently it's got 30 games. Um, can actually read uh, Super Mario Brothers 2, 3, oh, do, do. 1. Oh, Super um, Mario what's that one? <gasps> Zelda. Tech Mobile. Oh. Zelda, Zelda 2, Zelda. Balloon Fight, <gasps> Bubble, 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 Bubble Classic. Bubble, Bubble, Bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Castlevania, oh, which has got the best soundtrack of any game ever. No, it doesn't. It no, does. It. Donkey Kong, Double, oh, Double Dragon 2. Dr. Mario, I never played that one. Excite Bike, Final Fantasy, Galaga, Classic, uh, Ghosts and Goblins, Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, that's a good one. Uh, Kirby's, I like the Kirby games. Mega Man 2, but not Mega Man 1. Uh, Pac Man Punch Out, that was a good one. That was, is that the Mike Tyson? That's not the Mike Tyson version of it, is it? Um, let's do some Mario. And it's, it's even got the authentic um, scan lines on the picture. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. Um, you can turn that on and off. Um, oh, hello. Oh, it's so cute. Go, go, go. It's really hard to play this one. Run jump, run jump. Ah, there's like a lag as well. <laughs> I think that lag is was not it. Yeah, it's, the, it's just the HDMI card. Oh, God. Oh. I want to play so much. <laughs> oh. 
Yes, yeah, we need um we need a, a TV in the office for uh, <laughs> test testing. Test testing. testing, yes, testing. Well, we need it to test Priscilla, don't we? Yeah. Definitely. We'll come up with some Mario related flotilla games. Or Schmario. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Ah. Teaching kids to eat mushrooms. Oh, I should have had the other mission. Oh, no. You can Maybe. blame it on the input lag, don't worry. Right. How, how do we get back to the main. Isn't that what the reset button's for? That's. No. Uh, yeah, it probably is actually. Yeah. <laughs> Why yeah, would we yeah, ever yeah, want to yeah, go that's back what's to the main What will we try now? Because? Oh, yeah, I like the little the map step. that they have Thank underneath you. showing you where you are in the list of all the games. De -de -de. Oh, it's so cute. The cuteness. Oh, you know the controller. I've yeah. I actually got a spare controller with it, but it's at home. Um, I didn't have space in my bag today to bring it in. Outrageous. There's a huge level of judgement on that one. Mm. You should have binned everything else. <laughs> I, was never any, I was never any good at it. Awesome. Ah. So. Awesome, awesome. We're all, we're all watching it over here and just Sorry. having like a complete so tour. Yeah. <laughs> um, don't you hate game hogs? Yes. Any idea what yeah. the audio is like, Cindy? Um, I don't know, can people hear the audio? <coughs> I presume no. there's not any audio on it. I think we hear it. Um, it's yeah. I mean, it's just like you would expect from these games. Um, it's the same as if you had a a pike <laughs> oh, yeah, or a kryptonite. Um, okay, yeah. it might be time to move on now, Sandy. Sandy. Sorry, what? Sandy. Right, Sorry, I'm switching on. <laughs> <laughs> you keep the control. Sandy moves on to the next. How? Oh. So the you give me the controls. That. The um the final thing is um oh, so Brian Cortiel, who is the king of uh, Raspberry Pi robots, um, champion. has a tutorial in the Magpie magazine this month um, about how to build a cute little uh, Raspberry Pi Zero robot. This is very very similar to the one we showed before when we had him on the build tank. In fact, yeah. That was the ones that had the, did they have pins on the front and you had to, <laughs> balloon you had to pop, pop a balloon. Yeah, that was really good actually. Um, so it's basically a perspex chassis with um, some uh, stainless steel standoffs. Um, four of our micro metal gear motors. I think these are the 298 to 1 uh, gear ratios, I think. Incredible. Um, either 298 or 100. Um, we now have 50 and 10 as well, but I think the 10s probably wouldn't have enough torque to drive a robot with this much weight. It, it certainly wouldn't um, steer very well yeah. at all. Um, these wheels are quite grippy, so on carpet they, they grip when it's turning. Yep. They've got our moon buggy wheels attached. Um, we now sell these separately in the shop as well. Um, they're really good. They're, um, they're very hackable. Very hackable. They You can take them apart. Um, and replace the middle bit with a different adapter for different types of axle. Um, you can also just take the tires off and use it um, <laughs> to like mount a gear and stuff. Mount, mount other things motor. to the motors. Yeah. Um, if you want to make a windmill or a fan or something like that. Um, what else is on or here? Anim animatronic hand. Oh, I've just realised there's no SD card and I'll have to run and get the SD card. Don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> There's a Pi Zero, there's um, an Exploder Fat, um, there is a Zero LiPo to power it, and there's a camera on the front, and there's a 500 milliamp hour battery. Um, there's also a controller which Phil will tell you about while I get the SD card. You know what we should do? We should hack this controller to work with the Nintendo. Because we could totally, we could totally do, that. do that. But yeah, we've been looking at controllers um, because, well, since seeing Brian use these with robots and them being just so fun to drive and so easy to get working with a Pi, I've been jumping up and down going, we need to start controllers because they're so shiny. Um, so we've been looking at these rock candy ones. I don't think these are the ones we will manage to get in stock, but they're all pretty much for muchness, really. They're basically like a dual analog knockoff of the PlayStation controller. 
Um, homage. Homage. <laughs> homage. 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 <laughs> um, they use a little dongle which is plugged into there, in fact. So we're basically looking for ones that have a dongle of about that size that's not ridiculously huge and impossible yeah. to fit into a robot. Um, and they have all the buttons you'd expect, including the left and right analog stick clicks. Although the triggers on here are digital and not analog, even though they feel analog, they in fact respond as digital, which is kind of weird. Cause they even look analog inside, never mind. But yeah, it, it looks slightly gaudy, but they're really good, well built, feels nice. Um, uses some of those uh, crazy rechargeable batteries that just built in that you might see in your no, they're, they're the IKEA ones and stuff. Are they? Yeah, they're the IKEA How Oh, wait, no, sorry, they're not built in, are they? Just yeah, no, 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 no. double A batteries. Yeah. I thought those are generic um, cordless phone batteries. No, 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 no. But no, they're that's, that's generic the IKEA ones ever so slightly longer, aren't they? So yeah. you can't stuff them in here. It should, should be working now. Live, live. Uh, Turn, yeah. turn the controller on. Yeah. Oh, this controller is good. Yay! It should turn pretty nicely on here. Oh, we should have put some ramps Yay. up. Can you get it still wheeling? Whoa! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> good, good job. Skills. Good, good, can, good, can you tell good. I don't have a driving license? <laughs> good, good job. Fortunately, they are fairly robust apart from the, um, the camera cable. Yeah. It's actually struggling to grip on this table a little bit. This table's quite bumpy. Um, Wee donuts. <laughs> you can actually see the inner wheels getting out. <laughs> this does not bode well for pilot. Um, oh, they say please tear down the NES controller. No. Quick, get it, get no. the. Why is it looking? This is mine. You can't do that. No. It's mine. We can. No, you can't. No. Um, yeah, this will just be. Um, like a, a one micro city thing because the, the protocol that connects to the Wiimote is I squared C so this is going to be basically the same as a Wii Classic controller same protocol already widely supported by Arduino libraries so we should be able to figure out how to reverse engineer it and get a Pi to control the NES or you probably could you, use, could you use a Wii Nunchuck with it as we well? Should be able should to, be I, able I to. don't know because it won't have the same buttons but you could certainly use a I think of the Wii Classic controller with <laughs> But what would be interesting to see if we could emulate that controller and pretend to the NES that we are the controller. Yeah. And then do stuff like automation and crazy things like that. Um, Is that camera hooked up? The camera's not currently hooked up. Um, what happened to the, the pins on top of there? Did you just match them when it crashed? Cause yeah, don't They are yeah. so dangerously close. <laughs> <laughs> within millimetres from each other. Yeah. Well, I want um, to just snip them off. Yeah, so the way that I've done this is I've used um, an extended female header. Um, Outrageous. For, for the explorer fat, which means that the pins um, can we go to the close up? Yeah, just yes. Up. Um, that one. Woo yep. So the, um, <coughs> so the pins on the explorer fat here stick out the top. Um, and there's enough extra pin to be able to solder the zero lipo right on the top. Um, so that, that's that's quite a handy way. And it means that if you want to use the Explorer fat with any other kind of wireless um, wireless projects, then you know it makes it really easy to, to do that. So um, for instance, you could use this with the blinky light project that we put up recently, the Firefly yeah. Light, yeah, yeah. Uh, the one that we talked about on the IKEA hacking thing. Um, so it's probably quite a handy thing to do point. actually to have one soldier to the Explorer fat anyway. Um, you know, it's not going to, you can still use it as normal um, even though it's soldered on there. Um, the, the way that I've done the controls is uh, there's a really good Python library called Inputs. Inputs, yeah, by Seth who is one of the organisers of the Python, PyCon, PyCon UK, I think. Don't quote me on this, because I'll probably get it horribly wrong. But he created a library called Inputs, which uh, the objective of which is to get mice, keyboards, game controllers and everything all nicely and consistently supported in Python. So it's just plug and play, basically. You put, put your controller in, load inputs, say, yep. get controller and bam, it works. Yep. It's really That's nice. 
this whole robot has been driven by I think less than 20 lines of code um, so it's basically just importing the libraries um, that, that's obviously not including the libraries yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <coughs> Yeah, the script that's running it is less than 20 lines. Um, you create an object for the controller, then it's basically just a, um, a while loop and a for loop, a while true loop and then a for loop um, for every um, event that comes from the controller. Um, the, you basically get for, the, for the, the analog joysticks, you get a number between 0 and 255 where um, 128 is the centre position, 0 is all the way down, and 255 is all the way up, or it may be the other way around. It's um, quite simple to then scale that to forwards and backwards. And so yeah, so then you just scale that to a number between minus 100 and plus 100 uh, for forward and back. Um, the left one does the left set of wheels forward or back, and the right one does the right set of wheels forward or back, so it's kind of like tank controls. Um, which means it's really easy to spin round. And Can we put a uh, link to the library here, the um, inputs library, yep. presumably, yeah, and we'll stick that we'll in the video description? Yeah. Um, and is yeah. that all we have to talk about? Today? I think, yeah, yeah, I think that's all. Quite a yeah. bit today, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. It's been a, an extravagant um, banana deliciousness. Yeah. Bananas go. Yeah. I've hidden them <laughs> because they're weird. <laughs> <laughs> I was making myself a bit sick by eating them. Thank you very much, Andy. They're delicious. Thank you. Uh, so is that that everything? Yeah, I think that's yep. it. Yep. Right. So I'll see you so next week. Yeah. I've got Black Friday coming up in two weeks, is it? Um, dun, yeah, dun, dun. two weeks. We've got um, yeah, we've <laughs> quite a lot planned. Build tank should be exciting. Very exciting. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and um, I have no idea. Comment. Comment. Got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, nailed it. Well, well done. Yeah. And now, now you get to press the black button of goodbyeness. Okay. Bye. Bye.